question number 143 dy by dx is equal to y minus x minus 1 by y plus x plus 5 so writing down dy by dx is equal to y minus x minus 1 by y plus x plus 5 let's call this equation 1 this is not a homogeneous equation and uh, we need to convert this into a homogeneous equation so the substitution we use here is capital x small x is equal to capital x plus h and small y equal to capital y plus k let's call this equation 2 and differentiating equation 2 with respect to x we have dx is equal to d capital x and dy equal to d capital y therefore dy by dx equal to d capital y by d capital x now using 2 and 3 2 and 3 our equation 1 becomes d capital y by d capital x is equal to capital y minus capital x plus minus h plus k minus 1 by capital y plus capital x plus h plus k plus 5 okay now let's call this equation 4 if you observe 4 is not homogeneous but if we choose h and k such that minus h plus k minus 1 is equal to 0 and h plus k plus 5 is also 0 then this equation 4 reduces to a homogeneous form so we will choose h and k satisfying that conditions to find h and k we will use the equation minus sorry everything is having a slant minus h plus k minus 1 equal to 0 and h plus k h plus k plus 5 equal to 0 from adding these two equation we have 2k equal to uh, 2k minus 4 equal to 0 or 2k is equal to 4 let me just check okay minus uh, okay 2k h and h cancels out 2k minus 1 plus 5 is plus 4 so this is 2k equal to minus 4 therefore we have k equal to minus 2 similarly if we plug case value as minus 2 from equation 2 we have uh, h minus 2 plus 5 equal to 0 or k equal to uh, sorry h is equal to minus 3 let's call this equation uh, 5 and since we got our h and k we can also write our capital x is equal to small x minus h which is plus uh, minus 3 so x plus 3 and our capital y equal to small y minus k which is y plus 2 okay let's call this equation 6 we will be using this this values later in the solution so now using 5 uh, the values of h and k and plugging it in equation 4 we have using 5 equation 4 becomes d capital y by dx is equal to y minus x by y plus x so this is a homogeneous equation let's call this equation 7 now to solve such homogeneous equation we use the substitution y equal to v capital x for this equation 9 now differentiating equation 8 with respect to x we get d capital y by d capital x is equal to v plus x dv by dx all this equation 9 so using 8 and 9 in 7 we have v plus x dv by dx is equal to vx minus x by vx plus x now cancelling out x from both numerator and denominator and bringing v to the rhs we have x dv by dx is equal to uh, v minus 1 
by v plus 1 minus v or this is v minus 1 minus v square minus v by v plus 1 simplifying we get x dv by dx is equal to minus 1 minus v square by v plus 1 so this is a form where we can use the method of separation of variables uh, we will bring all the terms of v to one side and x to the other we have v plus 1 by we will uh, take minus 1 outside so it becomes 1 plus v square dv is equal to minus dx by x so we have this now we can split this into two terms 1 by 1 plus v square plus v by 1 plus v square dv is equal to minus dx by x now we can integrate both sides integrating both sides so this is a standard formula we can use the formula integral dx by um, a square plus x square is equal to 1 by a tan inverse x by a so we can use this standard formula to solve the first integral this is integral 1 by 1 plus v square dv and here if you observe the differential of denominator is 2v we have v here so we take 1 by 2 integral 2v by 1 plus v square dv equal to integral dx by x plus a constant c so the first integral we use the standard formula here a is 1 and x is v so we have tan inverse v plus 1 by 2 log 1 plus v square equal to there is a minus sign here earlier there is a minus sign minus log x log x plus c now we will do one thing multiply throughout by to so bring the log x to this side and tan inverse v to the other side and multiply it throughout by 2 we have log and using the log property log a, log a plus log b is log ab so we have log 1 plus v square into it becomes 2 log x minus 2 log x and bringing to lhs becomes plus 2 log x so uh, 2 x uh, 2 log x becomes log x square so log here it is x square is equal to minus 2 tan inverse v plus c okay now let's uh, the from equation 8 let me see equation 8 we have v equal to y by x so using that in our equation using 8 we have log 1 plus y square by x square so it becomes x square plus y square by x square into x square equal to minus 2 tan inverse y by plus constant so x square and x square get cancelled out now we can apply the substitution for x and y from equation 6 equation 6 says capital x is small x plus 3 and capital y is y plus 2 small y plus 2 x plus 3 and y plus 2 so we when we substitute this using plus 3 and y plus 2 log x plus 3 the whole square so x square plus x x plus 9 x plus 3 the whole square plus y y plus 2 plus 3 and y plus 2 right check again y plus 2 okay y plus 2 the whole square becomes y square plus 4y plus 4 uh, 
equal to minus 2 tan inverse uh, y is y plus Let me just confirm. Here, he was. Our answer is log x square plus y square plus 6x plus 4y plus 9 plus 4 is 13 equal to minus 2 tan inverse y plus 2 by x plus 3 plus c. So the answer given in the textbook is. Uh, is x and y interchanged so here it becomes x plus 2 y plus 3 by x plus 2 and terms are different let me just check whether any substitution went wrong so we have x square plus y square and x and y so the only place that went wrong is y plus minus x minus 1 y plus x plus 5 y plus k y minus k minus h plus k minus 1 will be h plus k plus 5 following correct right minus 3 plus minus 2 Minus five plus five. Three plus two. Minus h is three. And k is minus two. Three minus two one. One minus one equal to zero. So x is equal to x per capital X is equal to x minus h. So it becomes x plus three and y plus two. So I guess our solution is right and the solution given in the textbook is wrong. So for the answer in the textbook is here y plus 3 and x plus 2 and similarly uh, it is instead of uh, x plus 3 the whole square plus y plus 2 the whole square the answer is given is uh, x plus 3 the whole square plus y plus 2 the whole y plus 3 the or x plus 2 the whole square plus y plus 3 the whole square okay answer given let me just answer given uh, log x square plus y square plus 4x plus 6y plus 13 is equal to minus 2 tan inverse y plus 3 by x plus 2 
plus C. So this is the answer given. I think this is wrong. If anyone think I made a mistake and this is the correct answer, please do comment. I think this is the right answer. So yeah, these are the steps. And in case if I spot any mistake, I will update this video. This is the solution to question number 143.